Thank you, George. <laughs> Let's start with the Junos. The big Canadian music party kicks off tonight in Vancouver, and everyone is super excited. Everyone except Matthew Good. The multiple Juno winner calls the show pointless and says he won't be attending. Good says, when it's actually a television broadcast, it celebrates actual Canadian music rather than it's doing well in the nation. And it's being a controversial and I'm controversial and I'll drop it. <laughs> what? Show business isn't fair? <laughs> Canadian entertainers have to succeed in the United States before we're recognized by our own country? No! Fairy tales, you lie, Matthew Good. To quote multiple Juno Award winner Anne Murray, spread your tiny wings and suck it up, princess. <laughs> By the way, Matthew gave that interview while holding two of his own Junos with the third wedged tightly up his arm. <laughs> Why am I so mean to Matthew Good? He's done nothing to me. <laughs> Also with the Junos on Sunday, Loverboy is being inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Yes! I don't even have a joke for this. It's just that I grew up in a trailer park and I'm legally obligated to enjoy all things Loverboy. <laughs> I'm trying to get those leather pants inducted into the National Archives. And by National Archives, I mean my bedroom floor. If you know where I'm going, Mike Reno. You got a little bit more down here and a little less up here, but I still love ya. <laughs> Next, the Fairley brothers are getting closer to casting their Three Stooges movie. Negotiations are underway for Benicio Del Toro to play Mo. I'm not even joking. Jim Carrey will play Curly, and Sean Penn will play Larry. <laughs> According to insiders, the plot will go roughly like this. Curly will hit Mo with a ladder, Mo will slap Curly, and Larry will say, this is no time for jokes! Poverty and injustice are everywhere! <laughs> Jesus, that's some intense casting. Who's gonna play Shemp? Al Pacino? <laughs> And finally, very important news about Jessica Simpson. Mm-hmm. Jessica was having a meeting in a fancy hotel and asked a chef to whip up a gourmet meal for her dog. A source said, and I quote, Jess had the kitchen staff cook a meal for her dog, but at least she looked fab. <laughs> Wait one goddamn minute here, okay? Can we just go back a few minutes ago when we had a woman who was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize on the show? Remember that? Just a couple minutes ago there? <laughs> yeah. That made me feel a whole lot better about life in general, okay? Like, how come we don't know more about Sheila Watkulche, you know? But we know so much about Jessica Simpson's <laughs> dog. <laughs> I mean, what has Jessica Simpson's dog done for the Inuit lately? <laughs> I'll tell you people, not a goddamn thing! 